Hi, welcome. Today I would like to discuss how you can use Protractor uh, with Angular 2 right out of the box. And so let's get started. Uh, basically, uh, Protractor is a package which you can use for end-to-end -end testing and there is built-in support in Angular 2. You can go to the uh, home website protector.test.org and you can look up the details. But let me show you how to kind of work this through with Angular 2 app. Basically, what you can do is you can start your Angular app and I've already started this ng server and uh, to do uh, the test what you can do is you can type in ng end to end and it will start the test uh, with protector and let's see what it does if you uh, use the ng cli and to create uh, a basic um, a skeletal um, app uh, you will run through it and you will kind of see in the end what it does uh, it will bring up a browser window and uh, it will run uh, your tests and you can see it's bringing up the browser window is running through its test and uh, here you can see that it failed basically it is saying uh, god app should display message saying app works but it is expected god associate app works but it has app works and that's why the test is failing so let me show you where exactly this is set up so what you can do is in your Angular 2 app, uh, basically you can look into your directory called E2E that stands for end-to-end -end testing and uh, look, uh, open up this file called app uh, E2E spec. So this is the spec and essentially this is what the test really is uh, that's being written here. It says it's describing the test and say page is equal to God app page and uh, page is equal to you get a new uh, Gaur web page. Gaur app page is essentially a class and I can go to that definition and you can see that this is an exported class. Uh, it provides uh, essentially two methods navigate to and to navigate to it is just using browser.get to the root level of the app and to get paragraph task it is a returning element and by CSS is basically uh, um, selecting a particular element by CSS or visible elements and uh, you can see uh, it's a selecting app root h1 and it's getting the test and it's being right now is here is navigating so the test itself is this it says navigate to the top level and we're expecting the paragraph that test is equal to app works and if you look in the app itself you can see uh, this element um, angular has added something called app root and within it you have h1 and that's how it is selecting so those and the, if you want to look at how the various selectors works you can go to the protector test you can see it is selecting by a css selector selecting with an element id and it can uh, essentially uh, uh, do various things so what you can do more if you wanted to debug this uh, basically what you can uh, do is inside here you can say browser dot debug I usually just try browser.pause so let's just try browser.pause and uh, to get this browser um, you can do an import from protector so let's say if we just change our test that it is going to and we wanted to pause and see what's going on and then you can run this again in ng2 end to end testing and if you run that back again you can see It'll bring up the uh, um, um, window automatically and it's, as, it, as it runs through for end-to-end -end testing and uh, it will essentially stop at the point where uh, we wanted to stop in the browser so let's just uh, take a quick look so here it is uh, basically stopped and you can do an inspection and uh, obviously you can do inspect and check various elements and uh, here I'm going to just check the body and here I'm going to check and you can see the text element is God associates app works and exactly this is how you can basically debug it so if I wanted to uh, allow this test to pass I can copy this and I'm going to go over here and change it uh, for now because I know this is what it is equal to and uh, if I change this uh, test 
and I can uh, say continue. I might have to restart this thing again. Yeah, I guess it, it times out and it fails. But I, if I run this test again, and I'm going to uh, right now not pause because I don't really need to pause. I'm going to uh, let this thing go through and uh, you can see it basically uh, succeed. So what this is how you basically can run to end-to-end uh, -end testing. Angular 2 has made it quite uh, simple in terms of setting up the web driver and uh, many of these elements to be able to bootstrap and run this. And it automatically does create these uh, files uh, for you so it becomes very easy for you to write end-to-end -end test and to give them a try so it's going to see run through and everything works and all of our tests are success so hopefully you found this useful if you want to learn more uh, you can go to my website search for some angular 2 directive basics for example and i'll put in a link for protector as well uh, where you can uh, learn more about how to do the end-to-end -end testing with protector and thank you uh, for watching this short screencast and you have a great day